Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Prakha back from Texas.com, and today we are going to do something, uh, you know, really special. Now, today we are going to learn how you can integrate Razorpay, which is a payment gateway, uh, in your Android app. So, this is the second part uh, of this series uh, called uh, Android Payments, where we discuss the payment solution or the money solutions uh, for Android apps that you can implement in your app. The first one has been uh, successfully published go and check it out it's how to integrate paytm in your uh, uh, in uh, you know android app and it's specially made for india now we are here talking about an indian payment gateway which is uh, i guess uh, equivalent to stripe as i should tell you because uh, it's it has the most beautiful ui i have ever seen in a payment gateway after using paytm uh, pay you money insta mojo razor pay has been a perfect payment gateway for me and it can be for you so another detail that uh, this payment gateway does not require a server that means yes you can do things without uh, uploading your files to the server because it does not the cross check checksums uh, or any keys with your servers it does not exchange anything with that uh, so yeah it's a quite fast process and quite a beautiful one I assure you for that let's get started Okay, so Razorpay requires you to register your business in India and it does not support uh, individual as of now and uh, they might do it in future because uh, uh, I have asked them so they said they might support Razorpay in the future but uh, that's a story for another day. Here we have uh, only registered business if you are an NGO, if you are uh, private limited, if you are an LLP you can register on uh, Razorpay easily and uh, get to you know get your work started. So this can be implemented anywhere it has a very good support it has a very good documentation and it is the most easiest of uh, all you, you just need to pass some things and yeah you are good to go just few lines of code and we'll look in how you can do it okay first you need to sign up and uh, provide some basic documentations about you uh, you don't need the full registration yet uh, for testing purposes okay let's go ahead and uh, hit home okay let me just uh, put in my password okay never mind okay so uh, we have a transit mode so now I have not activated my account as, uh, as of yet because I use it from another account so it doesn't really matter I have uh, provided them the basic details which enables me to transact in the test mode okay so when it, this uh, green text uh, green tick appears you are good to go for the testing board okay so just go to test mode here and uh, select it if uh, that is selected on your live mode now okay it's gonna reload fine okay so now let's go to settings and uh, go to api keys and here's the api key that you need to have right here's the api key that you need to have so uh, it should start with rzp uh, underscore test underscore uh, the key that uh, you have okay so we are going to go to the android studio and uh, okay that's quite a lot wow oh that's histories nice okay so yeah so here we, I so here i have a project which is main activity dot java uh, we have uh, main activity dot xml we have uh, apps and stuff like that okay so we'll start integrating so don't worry i just uh, whoa I'll just delete uh, these optimize inputs right okay so we are good to go I have already declared these things which I'll comment so you guys do not get confused okay so let's start with a uh, documentation uh, go to the docs dot dot com and it is powered by readme and readme is a very good uh, resource if you want to build your how to or your document page for your website and it's very nice okay so it's available on android ios uh, cordova uh, which is the you know uh, web integration of android uh, which is the web integration basically it's hybrid apps uh, made by apache and uh, we have ionic if you guys know you have javascript you are good to go with android apps and we have phone gap uh, i guess it's from adobe uh, then we have the react native and our android okay so it has an unofficial flutter plugin as well which is built by a developer and they are planning to do it uh, in the official format but okay that's uh, a story for another time let's go to uh, mobile integration and then android okay we are here in android nice 
Uh, we don't need this page actually. Uh, I'm gonna wear this. Yeah. So let's go. Here is the link that you have. Razorpay.com uh, dot uh, slash doc slash checkout slash 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 slash. Okay. So uh, Razorpay.com docs checkout uh, Android. Okay. So here's the page that we need to have. Okay. So let's uh, uh, you know import the dependencies. You need Mavis Central in your repositories in order to fetch that uh, in your Gradle file. Okay, so I have the Mavis Central. Remember, go to the project level Gradle file, not the app level Gradle file. Just under the build script repositories, add a Maven Central. Okay. Then you need to add this repository. I will uncomment it. That is compile.com.razorpaid, check out, and whatever the current version is. You can also get. Uh, the current version from the github if they are using maven you can also change it to implementation if you want okay implementation if you want i'll just sync it i'll recommend using implementation anyways so let's go to main activity uh, let's go to main activity dot xml and add a button so we can uh, initialize our payment okay where's the middle part yeah so we have to good to go good, good to go now here we have an on click which is pay right so i'm assigning on click so button is uh, let's suppose pay 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 button right so we have pay button and uh, then the text is pay for razor pay right and i'm going to centralize it a bit Ooh, yeah and i'm going to add some constraints to it boom all right so we are good to go there and go to main activity now what we have to do is uh, just assign a button there you can have that button as well so i'm gonna have pay equals uh, find view by id find view by id r dot id dot pay pay button okay so now what i'm gonna do is just pay dot uh, set on click listener new on click listener and then i have to call a method which i have to make first of all now uh, before doing anything just go to your class and you have to implement uh, payment uh, payment result listener okay payment result listener this will give you an error just click on it and it will import some implement some methods okay so here we have an on success listener and on error listener okay so we'll work that uh, later now first of all we just need one more thing uh, just go to your um, yeah this one initializing payment uh, sorry initiating payments then just copy this function entirely and uh, paste that in here right now we'll just uh, uh, import the classes and yeah that's nice okay so let's uh, if you want to add a logo you can do it give your uh, name of the file in the drawable folder you can obviously have now uh, under the button uh, we have to call start payment right so start payment has been called now what is this uh, this is creating an object of uh, the class checkout okay so this is uh, just uh, uh, you know object creation and then we are uh, giving that uh, the activity the context then we are creating a JSON object which will have the following things the, the, the name which is let's suppose uh, let it be Tecris for as of now description is uh, test order right what better than it then uh, currency is always INR because uh, razor pay as of now only supports Indian currency now the amount is always in passe okay so it's like uh, if you are having uh, 5 rupees you have to write 500 paise if you are at 50 rupees you have to start write 5000 if you have 500 you have to five uh, you have to write 5 lakhs okay so uh, that's a pretty basic thing that you need to remember please uh, have uh, keep this in your mind we will charge uh, much much lower than you would like to okay so if you write 5 it will uh, go out and check out 5 paise for you which i don't think you want <laughs> So let's add a toast in the callbacks and uh, not queue, bro. Just take this and uh, payment successful, right? Successful. 
and then we have just uh, another thing which is go toast and uh, errors now the errors are given so it it returns you the callback statement this is uh, this returns you a string so you can just have it right there and uh, print it and print it whatever the error is then you can check it to that what is the error and print the suitable message or you know start the suitable activity once you know what is the error okay so now let's change something in the android manifest so what you have to do is now let's go to the uh, android manifest and make some changes there okay in the android manifest you need to add these uh, these lines okay so this is the metadata for uh, razorpay sdk so the metadata then we have android name uh, which is com.razorpay.api key so this returns uh, the api key so it has the value and uh, you know you have to enter this value that i told you uh, right there api test id uh, i mean key id okay so you have to regenerate it every time if you lose your uh, cigarette key okay so yeah that that's pretty much it i guess but you forgot one thing actually we forgot one thing so uh, what happens is uh, most of the time what happens in the lower connectivity uh, you know the lower connectivity areas um, the internet speed is not very good and uh, this might result in the payout page uh, loading very slowly that might uh, you know turn your customers down so which is not a very good thing so what we do is um, so we are having only one activity here so we can't do anything much but we can uh, just initiate uh, the payment uh, page much much before we actually need it so it is known as the preload thing okay so you have to call this object uh, you have to call this uh, function via this object and just one second and uh, in the on create method okay so on create method is uh, executed first so i'm going to paste it in the on create method so check out dot preload and you have to pass the context okay if you want to manually and the uh, rest it can be handled by the statements as well so what happens is uh, it will preload the page for you so you don't have to wait for an hour to uh, you know for it to load in uh, 2g network areas or maybe even 3g network areas or maybe even 4g networks areas uh, because uh, in india the 4g network is not very good in some areas as well so never mind so i would recommend doing this three four activities before you actually need the payment to be uh, completed doing this may you know definitely increases the outcome and uh, more customers will purchase from you because i don't think uh, as uh, you know i don't think that as a customer i will wait 40 seconds for a payout page to load i mean no i would definitely not and i'll close that app and maybe even uninstall it so it's better not to make your customers wait any time okay so just remember this line this is quite important and uh, let's recheck that uh, whether we are not missing anything and uh, let's revise our things okay so it's always a good practice uh, to revise we have our metadata done we have these two callbacks we have uh, on create method and we have preloaded things we have start payment and yes you can get uh, go through this error code and this optimization things and uh, logos colors and what not just go ahead and do it yourself okay now let's run it on the emulator and let's see what it brings to us okay this is another app which i don't use okay it's launching the activity uh, okay pay for razor pay i'm gonna click it and let's see what happens whoa mm, that's nice so yeah see how beautiful it is you just click on upi i clicked on upi by the way oh i have to enter my phone number first oh this is a test implementation i forgot okay so uh, let's do some test things and i'll get back to you when i have the test credentials hey guys so we are back with the login credentials or the card credentials now let's select car i have uh, filled in the phone number filled in an email let's select card and uh, okay select all what okay this so i've already entered the card number which is 5104 and this one actually so expiry okay i want to look at the expiry 
we can use any CV number, any future expiry date. Okay, so that's 23. Let's use 23. Carl Holder's name is anonymous. Anonymous. Now the CVV is uh, yeah, and let's go. Okay, you have to skip. Okay, okay, okay. That's for saving the card. Okay, so I'm gonna have success. Okay, so that is the payment successful. And yes, so here is our tutorial being successful. So if you want to know more about payment gateways, you can get, uh, you can write us uh, down in the comments, or you can mail me, uh, or you can Telegram or WhatsApp me, whatever you want. And uh, yes, if you like that video, just hit a thumbs up and tell me down in the comments that you do like it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much oh, okay for it. So I mean, let's let's pack it up now, and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Thank you.